Today we will learn important things about reproduction and the difference between sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Reproduction is a process in which an organism produces its offspring. For example, an amoeba gives birth to another amoeba. A plant produces another plant similar to it and human beings produce children. We know that various processes like nutrition, respiration, excretion, etc. help to keep the organism alive. Reproduction is different from these processes. It helps the organism to keep its species alive. Without reproduction, no life is possible on earth. Let's talk about important parameters of reproduction. You must be knowing that seed of mango produces a mango tree. It does not produce a berry plant. Why is it so? Let me tell you. The body of every organism is made up of cells that consist of a nucleus that contains DNA. Basically, every cell contains a nucleus which is made up of chromosomes. The chromosomes contain DNA that is deoxyribonucleic acid that contains information of hereditary characters that are transmitted from parent to offspring. Because of this reason, the characters of offspring seem similar to the parents and therefore every organism can produce an organism similar to it. Basically, the main event in reproduction is producing a replica of DNA. The replica of DNA in the cell is produced by various chemical reactions. After producing the replica of DNA, cells produce other cellular apparatus and then it gets divided such that its cell gets DNA. As the biochemical processes are not ideal, therefore, we can see some differences between the replicated DNA and the parent DNA. Because of these variations, every organism in the population has some unique features which makes it distinct in the population. We call it diversity. Often, some variations are helpful for the protection of the species. Let's understand this with an example. Suppose there is a bacteria which cannot withstand very low temperature. During reproduction, it produces some bacteria which can tolerate very low temperature. If the climate becomes colder, then many bacteria will vanish. However, those which can withstand cold climate help the species to survive. This is how variations are helpful for the survival of species. Therefore, we say that variations during reproduction are the basis of evolution. We will discuss this in another video. We know there are two methods of reproduction, sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Let's understand them through comparison. The method of reproduction in which a single individual produces another individual is called asexual reproduction. For example, unicellular organisms like amoeba, hydra, produces their next generation by asexual reproduction. Some plants like sugarcane, rose, potato can be produced from any part of the plant. This is also asexual reproduction. 
in contrast to this the reproduction in which two individuals take part is called sexual reproduction for example human beings flowering plants various animals etc produce new organisms by sexual reproduction if male and female both take part in sexual reproduction then the amount of dna that the offspring get will be twice that of the individual dna therefore the amount of dna goes on increasing over generations because of this the control over cellular organization might reduce to solve this problem there are distinct organs for sexual reproduction which reduces the number of chromosomes to half therefore the amount of dna is reduced to half by the process of meiosis due to this male gamete in male and female gamete in female are produced which contain half the dna during fertilization male gamete combines with female gamete so as to produce zygote in which the amount of dna is restored in case of asexual reproduction a replica of dna is formed for the offspring in this process no male gamete and female gametes are produced and therefore there will be no fertilization and so there will be no zygote two kinds of reproduction are similar for the fact that the number of chromosomes or the amount of dna in offspring is similar to that of each parent in asexual reproduction offspring is formed from single individuals therefore there are not many variations in the dna due to this there is a possibility of extinction of the species during unfavorable conditions in sexual reproduction the dna of offspring is produced from the combination of both the parents therefore variations are more therefore the possibility of survival of the species during unfavorable conditions are high asexual reproduction is faster as compared to sexual reproduction today we have learned important things about reproduction and the difference between sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction Thank you.